The real way to watch Ludwig, and I think I see a TI-84 in the background here. Oh, 83 plus. All right, what do we got? The real way to watch Ludwig. Uh, how is this even possible? How is there audio? There's the TI-83 plus is audio? You telling me I could have been in class watching C-Nanners and Hutch do Call of Duty commentary on my calculator? Sheesh, that would have been hype. That would have been hype. It's time for the Red Deer Recap. Red Deer Recap. So go and join our slash load. We are grand. Anyway, let's take a look at the top posts of the week, which are some huge posts. My God, 6.8 thousand. This is close to like the top posts of all time. That's like top 12, top 15. And it's the truest height comparison. No. How? How are you so powerful? How did you get two posts with 6,800 upvotes? How did you outplay me so hard? This is unfair. And it had to be Azan. Azan, the guy who took the same flight back from Texas to Los Angeles as me, and as I walked by him, me and Cutie, we walked down the aisle. Him sat down before us because he boarded early in front of our seat. Says to us, all the way back there, you pores. <laughs> and now he's stunting on me on my own subreddit. Like he doesn't already have more subs, more viewers. I haven't told anybody this before. This is a true story. Sunday in Texas, there was a party, offline party. Nobody streamed it. I sat down next to Azana and I says to him, hey, let's do a challenge. He goes, all right. I says, you say the number of women you've slept with on three. I'm going to say the number of women I've slept with on three without missing a beat. He says, all right. I look back at Asan, counting down three, two, one. Four, my number. And the same time I yell out four, he looks back at me. He goes, I don't actually remember. I lost count. Ancient Egyptians could count to thousands. Yet 2,000 years later, Chad Son literally lost count. He said he had beaten my number. By his first year in college. He said on stream it was over 200 a few years ago. <laughs> anyway. Glad to see that I can't escape Hassan even when I arrive back. Thanks Lud for supporting trans rights on the Reddit recap. The horrifying ordeal of coming out to my family as trans. Increasing Lud's female viewership. I do like this meme. I think this meme has already existed. But maybe, I think this might be custo art for this. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be. But yeah, that's a good meme. Wholesome memes. So nice to see Ludwig supporting the homeless. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys. So I went to Austin this week, uh, Texas, where a bunch of streamers live. I'm talking Ms. Kiff, Soda Poppin, XQC, uh, Nick Milena, um, a bunch of people, right? A bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of people. Uh, for many re reasons to live there, one of them being Chance kind of started it too. There's also like no taxes, state taxes. You save literally 14% as opposed to being a, here in Los Angeles. Uh, but, you know, a bunch of people live there. Anyway, uh, I had not, I've not met a lot of people. Like, I, uh, let's be real. I am mostly just a guy in my room who watched a farting monkey with my roommate and best friend Slime and suddenly have a million people on YouTube who have followed me. And on Twitch who have followed me. That's my life. That's what's happened to me. And I didn't really, outside of uh, Among Us last year, like hang out with other streamers. And in person, I've met very few, very, very few people. So this is my first time meeting everyone. Literally everyone. Part of this is also because of COVID. So I don't know what these people are like in real life. You know, because like me in real life, I, I'm not, I, I'm a little different because I'm, I'm not as high energy. I'm a little higher energy on stream. You know, and I, I'm like, I imagine it like this. Like if you're a human and you're a hundred percent, you know, and you, you know, throughout the day, I'm like a hundred 
60 on stream and like 40% off stream and just a little more dead. You know, because I'm not I'm not walking around a cutie being like, yo, boys, roomies, what's going on, everybody? What are we watching today? Hey, plan is simple. We're doing Oceans 11, 12, 13. First person to guess which bank gets robbed for how much gets 100 gift. That'd be a little absurd. They would lose their fucking minds. They'd be like, all right, man, you know, we can just watch the movie. It's been fucking weird. So I didn't know what these people would be like in person. And uh, and I loved Chance, Soda Poppin, but who I was nervous to meet because I just didn't know because all I had interacted with them was like through Rust or Among Us or on stream, really. You know, and, and I think me and X had even had some beef once upon a time, like, like very small kerfuffle where I had like farmed a clip on LSF and I had basically said like toxic. Are we talking about XQC and among us? <laughs> and then he, uh, it got clipped and posted on LSF and then XQC got a little upset about that. Cause he thought I was basically trying to like turn the tides against him. So we had a small kerfuffle. This is months ago now, months and months and months ago. So I didn't know how it'd go in person, you know? And finally we meet and it's on stream. On stream at first. And it's like cordial. We make a few jokes. I think there's a clip about it. Let me see if I can pull it up. Oh. Felix, how do you feel about snickerdoodles? <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's a I, tough I'm, sell. I'm Ludwig. Yeah, I thought you were 6'3 or some shit. I'm 6'5. Oh, five. that's how tall are you? I'm 6'2. Uh, it's freakishly tall. <laughs> Dude, I only came for the free food. If, if you're taller it's than coming, me, and you done. take my <laughs> sub record for me, I don't have anything left. Uh, don't worry, dude. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I am worried about. Okay, funny little interaction. It was it was a nice meeting. Maybe a little awkward, but you know, when you meet someone you've never met before, it is a little awkward. That's how it goes. But then I hung out with him off stream. Right? We hung out at first the stream I did, the um uh, the newlywed. We hung out at ShitCon, the Saturday stream that was like six hours long. And more importantly, we hung out after that off stream and at the party off stream. And XQC is so much different than I thought he'd be. Like, he's not fake. It's not what I'm trying to say. He's not like fake on his stream. But when I met him in person, he was just like like a super relatable, down-to-earth sweetheart. He'd be like, oh, yeah, hey, man, how's it going? Like, yeah, man, we, yeah, we, we should do this. Like, we played this whole charades game. He was just like funny. He was just like a normal. And I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if he would show up and he'd be like this, you know, eccentric character because some people are. For example, Mizkiff. Like, it's not like Mizkiff end stream and he's like, oh, hey, how's it going, man? Like, um, hey, do you guys, like, want to get dinner or something? Like, what's going on? Mizkiff end stream and he's like, hey, man, I love playing Rust. You guys can invite me? Probably not. Uh, fake laugh. Ha <laughs> ha You know, like, he's he's still Mizkiff, which I, I still love Mizkiff. He's still a great guy. But he's still Mizkiff. But XQC is just, like, a super sweet guy. And uh, I, think, uh, I think he's just, uh, one, I've probably only ever met him in, like, either stream scenarios or maybe competitive scenarios. Because I think, obviously, he changes a little bit if he's, like, in a competitive scenario. I'm thinking, like, you know, a Rust server, Among Us lobby, you know, where he's, like, gaming and actually, like, because he, he is very competitive. And that obviously changes a bit. But he was super, I had, I had a blast. And I still have that. I should auction this off. I don't have a cause to auction this off for yet. But if I ever have, like, a charitable cause I create, I'm going to auction off this uh, Polaroid picture of me next QC. Uh, and I'm sure that I'll all shatter when he breaks my sub record and then he's going to be dead to me. Next, some might call it predictable how I draw Ludwig. How the absolute most funny Ludwig viewers want me to draw him. Uh, oh, the acne. Ah, the eyes. I didn't even notice the <laughs> Oh my God, dude. And the sh Wait, what does that say? I'm very short. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm done, bro. Oh, I'm actually done. You guys are nuts. You guys are This is too much. This is too much. Subscribe to my YouTube. This is too much. Oh, okay. Next. Oof. Sex. Okay, I need to explain this picture. Because let me tell you, Schlatt is a different animal. 
I think I know what I'm doing in the stream space, in the creator space, in the influencer space, in the make millions by posting YouTube videos on a daily basis to feed the satiation of millions and millions of teenagers and college students space. But Schlatt is actually built different. We hung out at this Chipotle sponsored event. I'm looking over right now because I'm trying to find the, the picture. But we hung out there and Schlatt posted this picture. And the precursor to this picture was exactly this. In this example, this microphone is going to be me and I'm going to play the character of Schlatt. You want to get a fucking load of likes on Twitter? Yeah, yeah, I'm down for that. Stay there. One picture. <whistles> Almost 100,000 likes. He didn't even tweet this out. He just wrote, at Ludwig Ogren, where are you at? I didn't even know what he was doing. And he just farmed my 100K likes on Twitter. 100K. That's an insane number of likes. I tried my best to emulate. 23K. <laughs> Fucking clown in this bitch. I don't know. I don't get it. Twitter's fun right now. My man Aiden Ross and SSB own Ludwig. Ludwig only blew up to the on. He needs to stop disrespecting my man Aiden. He's not ready for the smoke. Look, let's keep it a stack. Rice gum actually spit bars. Doesn't matter what you're into. If you're a band nerd, let's be real. It didn't make a lot of sense for him to make fun of band nerds when he's so entrenched and into the rap industry because band nerds are who the rappers love because they make fucking music. They're just musicians. That's what band nerds are. They're musicians. And even if Aiden Rice viewers are people with glasses on shonky laptops or in high school, so what? It's just what they're into. It doesn't matter. Nothing wrong with that. Bigger number, better person, and it's cutie with more viewers than me. I'm down for that. I'd be down for that world. You could say get fucked, but when I met Cutie, she had more viewers than me. If you want to play the narrative that I would be insecure if she had more viewers than me, you can. But I feel happy if I would turn around and Cutie's got 30K. Drop me the fucking host one time for the one. I'm going to go on your stream every day to farm lol W's. You want some viewers? I'm down for that. I got no problem with anyone succeeding around me. Because it doesn't mean that they're taking anything away from me. They're just doing things better than me usually, right? True height measurements. 5'11", 6 foot. <laughs> Dude, Hassan's a beast, bro. You can't even meme. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows when Hassan walks in the room, an actual monolith has appeared. Oh, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Some context, they have two dogs, right? One dog, German Shepherd, the other dog is like a, a lab or something. I forget the exact name. And the German Shepherd was outside for the whole morning because they saw some diarrhea in the morning. They had to clean it up, and so they put the dog outside so he wouldn't diarrhea in the house. And the other dog, Kevin, walked through and literally did a drive-by. I shit you not. If my hand is the dog, it looked like this. And it didn't even stop walking. And it was just like, it was like. It was like the, the time period of a fart with the, the spillage of an entire LaCroix. Of just shit. Blech. Thinking about it. Blech. It was so gross. Kev, get out. It was Kev. Get out. Ah! Kev, get out. Moral of the story. Buddy was framed. Don't let him forget about this. All right, here's the deal. At 100,000 subreddit members, we do the whole Reddit recap dressed as Ludwig von Koopa. Blue hair, staff, in buck tooth and all.
next week. Guaranteed. Promise. But a billion is a lot. I'm sick and tired of hearing this argument. That one billion lions can somehow defeat all Pokemon in a battle. One billion isn't that much, dumbass. There are like seven billion people on the planet. I can go hours driving in the middle of Central America without finding a single sighting of human life. Pokemon can fucking fly. Arceus can create Pokemon with his mind. Lions are barely smarter than my house cat. Have you ever been on a cat? If it sees water, it basically shits itself. What a lion gonna do when a Squirtle starts blasting? I just said a billion's not a big number. I'm not even gonna entertain this. I don't want another re Reddit recap to devolve into lions versus Pokemon. Especially when the argument is literally based off of 1 billion isn't a large number because I am able to drive in rural America and not see a human. That's the argument. Wow. Well, of defeating humans. We just shoot them. All it would take is a dragon Pokemon to cause the next mass extinction event by using Draco Meteor. I mean, literally, Pokemon can spawn Meteor Shift and render time. You are fucking with my entire asshole if you think these little runts can defeat all Pokemon. How the hell are lion gonna survive in colder climates? Here's your answer, Einstein. They won't. All the Pokemon have to do is walk 50 feet north of the equator and the lions will just collapse. You ever heard of Protect, dumbass? What a lion gonna do against a goddamn Hyper Beam? Get out of your head and enter reality. I would bet my entire life savings on this fight. This ain't Jake Paul in the ring, bitch. It's even worse. It's a bunch of fucking lions facing off against one of the strongest collections of mythical creatures humanity has ever created. Your argument sucks. You suck. I win. Suck my dick. Guy dumb as fuck. A lot of when he got picked by Hassan, looks like he can't believe it himself. I was flattered just to be a, a, invited at all. Respect women. Let's watch High School Musical. Cutie's desire for a romantic kiss. <laughs> My High School Musical was good. Sorry, nothing better was on. You know what was out that time? I'll give you a clue. Game of Thrones. Last season. Oh. Sorry, should we have watched that instead? My High School Musical outplays that every day of the week. Better ending, too. Obviously, I'm not. All right, let's end it on that note. I'm not, everybody. Hey, good Reddit recap. That went a little bit longer than I was hoping for because we got to go do house tours. But, hey, thanks for watching on YouTube. And uh, see you guys next week for the uh, Ludwig von Koopa cosplay.